iced coffee in a mason jar is the most millennial thing that I think really could possibly happen. Hey everybody, it's Ted, the Buffalo Beauty Boy, and today I am going to be trying some new products. So over the last like month or so, I've picked up a handful of products that I like I was just curious about products, you know, that are maybe new to the market or have been around for a little bit, but I just wanted to try them. And I haven't had a chance to like play with my makeup and really just like mess around. So I figured I would just kind of come on here and like kind of put them on and we'll chat a little. Also kind of um, some of these are products I tried to really like bring in like if it's not a new product, it's a product that I haven't talked about on camera. So that way just like a little peek in kind of like what I'm using, some new products, some summer proof products, like that sort of thing. Um, I don't really have a set plan, but I just kind of figured, I know specifically I wanna talk about um, House Labs. I'm gonna use the Salt New York um, Sneaky Balm and, Hmm, what else do I have? Oh, duh, the most like exciting. I have the new Phytosurgeons uh, Toasted Blush, specifically the shade Evaporate, which if you followed um, the internet um, Instagram situation is the shade that um, the, the real uh, fan base is calling Lizzie after Rome. Uh, super excited. So yeah, I have some products that I'm just really excited to play with and use and chat about. So let's, you know, we'll get into that. I'm going to start by prepping my skin um, with the Stradia Liquid Gold. I was contacted by Stradia and they sent me a handful of products um, that I'm in the process of testing out before I give like a thorough review. Um, but so far, so good. I'm really enjoying them. It has like a really beautiful um, occlusive factor to it. So I think it makes for a really good primer, but I'm gonna go in with the um, Smashbox Original Photo Finish Primer. I've been loving this um, in my T-zone for these like really hot, hot days that we've been having. Um, and if you know me, like I really like a glowy, kind of dewy primer situation. Something that's either like a highlighting fluid as a primer or um, like a very thin, lotion-y primer. Very seldom do I use like a traditional kind of silicone-y primer. Um, but I got sent that in, or I didn't get sent it. I got it in like a Ulta gift with purchase, like, like super like sweat proof or like mask proof makeup, like in, I think in like February and I've had this kicking around and I figure it's been so incredibly hot out that, you know, now is a good time to try it. So that my base is prepped and primed. My skin's looking really good. I'm using a handful of new skincare products. Like I said, a few from Stradia. Um, one from Fresh that they sent over, which I was like, I'm like, I, I got it through Octoly. Um, so I'm doing a review about that. And then if I decide that it's something that I really want to talk about, I will. Um, and then the most exciting um, like skincare thing besides the Stradia uh, PR was um, I'm using Biologic Recherche uh, P50, Lotion P50 1970 formula. So if you know anything in the beauty world, it's like a cult classic, like acid toner. And I'm super thrilled to be using that. I just had to do like a mad dash because um, what I was looking for was in my bag, which is downstairs, not in either of my makeup bags and not my palette that I thought it was. So the base product that I'm super excited to use today is finally the Salt New York Sneaky Balm. Um, I purchased this a while ago. I have the shade N11 and I just keep it in my little salt uh, kit because I love it. 
And the way that I like to apply this, I use my fingers um, to apply and then I use a brush to kind of buff it in. And I like to really kind of work in there. And then I'll swipe it wherever I feel like I want it. Um, the thing with this is you don't need a lot. It spreads really, really well. So I tend to build a lot right in here where I lose coverage. And then I'll just kind of fill in the gaps. And I like to use a really fluffy, dense brush. So this is just a Morphe brush. Oh, hello. Sophie is coming to say hello because she loves Salt New York. What's really cool about the Salt New York Sneaky Bombs is that they are all, I believe, neutral. So you can really kind of adjust them to your skin. And right, Sophia agrees. And that was kind of the premise. Um, Kiki, the founder, is a makeup artist. So all of their products are really almost like professional, like makeup artist kit products. And I really appreciate that. I think there's a ton of brands that are kind of creating products that are living somewhere between like a direct, you know, direct to consumer, like something like Too Faced or um, like one of those brands that's really like packaging and, you know, just like, you know, very consumable, um, but not necessarily something that I feel like is tailored for like mixing and creating where brands like Makeup Forever or um, in this case, you know, Salt um, are really brands that I feel like you can kind of build a kit, but they're also approachable enough that like they can be used in a pedestrian kind of way. Like, as somebody in the beauty world who does have like a little bit of like actual training, um, I'm a hairstylist by trade, but in cosmetology school, we do learn like cosmetic application. Um, we do learn some aesthetics. So I have that kind of back, like back knowledge of makeup. Um, I appreciate products that kind of give me the availability to do both, to work in a way that I'm kind of creating and formulating and custom mixing for myself, but then also like approachable and easy enough that, you know, I'm using this beautiful balm that is, I think something like 30% pigment, um, I think Kiki said, and super like customizable, but it's thrown in this gorgeous little palette that I can, you know, kind of change out and swap. So I think that's really cool. And this is the Sneaky Balm up close. Um, I feel like it just does a really good job of creating a very like skin like appearance and that's what I look for. I don't feel like it's heavy. I don't feel like it's too glowy and hearing a balm we kind of think that it's going to be this like thick shellac on the skin but it's really not. It's super just wearable. Um, so yeah I'm really pleased to report that I am in love with Sneaky Balm. I'm going to fill in my eyebrows with a product that I'm not sure if I've talked about. Um, if I have, then I guess you've seen it. But if not, that's okay. It is the NYX Thick It Stick It um, Thickening Brow Mascara. And this is the shade Cool Ash Brown. And this is very similar to their, like, soap brow laminator whatnot. Um, the applicator is a little bit different. But I'm loving this because the first time I tried the other product, I thought like this would be amazing if it had a tint. And that's exactly what I feel personally feel like this is. But that took two seconds and my brows are like done. I'm obsessed with that. I'm going to just kind of prime my eyes and put on just a little bit of shadow. Um, and then I kind of want to talk about, I have a couple thoughts. Um... So I'm using the um, 24 hour Smashbox eye primer and then 
on my lids. I'm gonna go in with Phytosurgeon's Wild Oak, um, which I'm not sure if I've talked about, but I love. So the thing that I feel like we have to talk about is uh, Glossier is going to be selling at Sephora. And that is so interesting to me. Um, Glossier like prided themselves on being like a direct to consumer kind of like online exclusive whatnot. And I mean, it makes a ton of sense that they're gonna start selling in stores. I feel like that's just the natural progression. And I kind of think like Glossier got like super big, super quickly and kind of became this like phenomenon. And then I think collectively, we've all just kind of, you know, like we paid our respects. Um, and I don't think like Glossier is like irrelevant by any means, but I just think it's it's weird to me that they're gonna be at Sephora. Um, I thought if they did start doing stores, in my head, I always pictured them at like Target or something like that. I don't know. Um, I know this is kind of a bit of a tangent in the middle of like a video where I'm just putting on makeup, but something about it is just very interesting to me. Like, I don't know, it seems odd that, not odd, because I mean, Sephora is a major, you know, cosmetic retailer, but I think if anything, like I saw them like having an end cap at Ulta or like being at Target or something like that. I don't know. It just seems like kind of a weird move to me. Um, so I guess like, let me know in the comments if you think that or agree with that. I feel like Glossier at Sephora, I think it's gonna be really cool. I'm excited that I don't have to, you know, build a cart to get shipping, <laughs> um, to get free shipping from Glossier. Cause I do have several products that I like use and love from Glossier, but I don't know. I just, I didn't think that Sephora would be their move if that makes sense. Um, so this is Wild Oak, a super beautiful, like one and done shadow. I absolutely love it. And Phytosurgeons is just so good. And I cannot wait to get into that Phytosurgeons blush in a little bit. But first, House Laboratories. I've had these and I've been sitting on them and I have not used them and I'm so excited. So I picked up their Power Sculpt Velvet Bronzer in the shade Light Level 2. And it's this gorgeous matte. It Honestly, it's velvet. It's like a satiny looking bronzer. And the shade range on the bronzer seems really, really good. And then I picked up the Bio Radiant Gel Highlighter in the shade Pink Amethyst which just looks like an absolute dream. So I'm gonna put those on. But um, the other things that I picked up were the high power pigments in the shades, Ooh, gold shimmer and white onyx matte. Um, I love a white eyeliner moment, even though I don't really wear eyeliner. <laughs> Um, I saw the Rain On Me video and I was just gagged, screaming, shook. So I have tried this. The minute I got it, I couldn't not put it on. So I'm going to do like a little bit of like a white flick. And then for this gold, I think I'm just going to put it like on the inner crease because I, or on the inner corner, because I love like a super like gold punch right on the inner corner. I think I'm going to do the gold first. So whenever I'm working with like a pigment like this, I like to use it like on my hands, almost like a palette. That's probably too much, but I wanted to really kind of show you what it does. So this is their metallic. It's not, it's like a very thick, you know, like that's not going anywhere. And whenever I'm working with something like this and I'm specifically doing the inner corner, a trick that I love is using the end of my brush so I can really pinpoint it but I'm really excited for House Laboratories I'm a huge Lady Gaga fan if you uh didn't know um and I think it makes sense you know she's always been about the looks 
everything is a reference, everything is an artistic expression, everything's a serve. And I know she launched the like, this is like a couple months ago, well, not a couple months ago, probably like six months ago, when she was doing all the House of Gucci stuff. She did the like Italian beauty collection. And I think that was kind of a beta test for these formulas because they had a highlighter that was described as like a gel cream infusion highlighter situation. And I mean, it was supposed to be like this like transformative gel powder situation. And I think bioradiant gel, come on. Like I would put money on, that was the same formula as this. And then she had a couple like glosses and I know they came out with new glosses and stuff or like a lip pigment situation. Um, and then she had lipsticks for the Italian beauty collection. So, and they were like mini size. And I don't know if anybody bought them because they were mini size. Um, it seemed like, you know, kind of weird, like to like release a full situation, you know? Um, but I think they were probably just like beta testing formulas for that. So it wouldn't surprise me if like down the pipeline, House Labs has like lipsticks coming out. All right, so with that um, metallic pigment, it did kind of pick up on itself over in here. Like this one looks great. This one, not so much. Um, so it does, I guess, kind of pick up on itself if you apply, I don't know if it's like too heavy. It only did that when I went in with my finger. So I'm gonna go back in with my brush And then I think we just have to kind of let it set. It's a beautiful, like proper gold. Yeah, you can see like in the swatch, it does kind of like pill up on itself a little, which is not like necessarily a deal breaker for me, but it's a true gold. It's not super greeny. It's not bronzy. That would be a really pretty highlight for like a, like euphoria mo Gotta like wash my hands because if I don't, I will have gold glitter all over this look. So give me one second. So if it was just like a normal day, we'd probably stop there with the eyes. But the main like eye pigment thing that I really was excited for was this white, uh, white pigment that I'm absolutely gonna use as eyeliner. So I don't know if I'm gonna show, like applying the eyeliner on camera cause it's not my strong suit. I will show you a couple swatches. So I think you're supposed to like really like shake them. So again, I'm taking about that much. I do think that the matte ones are maybe a little less like congealed than the metallics. And you can see it's like, that's, that is white, that is, white and dense and opaque. So I always, I always wanna start on my right eye and I know you're supposed to start with like the eye that's like less dominant. I don't know if you can tell a little bit of that, that like smudge, it's not a smudge, it's actually on my lashes. So I think that's pretty good for like a two swipe moment. So I'm gonna kind of dry my brush off a little bit and you can see as I do that, like there is so, 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 so much of this product. Like it really, a little goes a super long way. So I don't think I did too bang up of a job. I'm just gonna go in and clean that up a little. So I'm just gonna kind of let that dry before I like do anything else. I'm gonna wash my hands again. Um, but I think with House Labs, I the reason I love them, I mean, not just because I'm a huge Lady Gaga fan, but I think the formulas to me seem really interesting. I think that she's doing stuff that seems 
different. Um, it seems like they're really like intuitive. The way that I feel like Fenty does really beautiful products, like Fenty exists outside of Rihanna. And I think House Laboratories could exist outside of Lady Gaga. Does that make sense? Clean up the under eye, I'm gonna use a little bit of concealer and I picked up the NYX Bear With Me Concealer. And I'm having a ton of fun with this. I'm not historically a big concealer person. Um, you know, if I am, it's like I have a couple that I just, you know, I use and I like. Um, but it's never like a huge to-do for me. So I'm taking this teeny tiny little brush. Mostly just because I'm going to use it to kind of clean up my wings a little. But... Before I do that, I wanna get a little, little bit going under here. I think this would be one of those concealers that you can absolutely use kind of all over your face, like as a foundation. And then how I said, I always lose coverage right here. Just gonna go in and add a little Right in there. I'm gonna put on some mascara and that's gonna take care of what looks like that smudge. I'm using the e.l.f. Big Mood. Um, mascara and I have such a fickle relationship. I'm living for like a white liner moment. I think it's so cool. So now that I've got like the eyes and the base done, I'm gonna go in with the bronzer. And I've heard a couple people like raving about this. So I do have pretty high hopes. Um, I'm taking just like a good fluffy brush, um, you know, with a good amount of swirl. Like I picked up quite a bit and there is no fallout. So I love that. When I tap my brush on it, you know, it does kind of like float in the air a little, which means that it's really lightweight. Oh, wow. I love this shade. I think it's a very like neutral leaning bronze. It's not too red or too pink, but it's also not like so cool toned that you would almost like use it as a contour. And this packaging is gorgeous. It feels really luxe. It feels really high end. And you know how there's some bronzers that like you dig in and you kind of feel like you're like eating bronzer, like you just like need so much to do anything. I don't personally feel like this is one of those. And I'm someone that like, I go in on my bronzer. It's my preferred way. I'm really pleased with that. Now that I've got my bronzer going, I'm gonna pop on the Phytosurgeon's Toasted Blush in the shade Evaporate. I haven't used this, and it's the dreamiest, bronziest shade. So this is the first swatch. I'm gonna just kind of dip in. Their texture is just amazing. It's described as like a truffle, like a chocolate truffle, like when you like, like when you bite a lint truffle in half and you kind of have that ganache, it just, ugh. And that's that shade. I cannot wait to put this on my face. I'm so, 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 so excited. With the Phytosurgeon's blushes, what I like to do is just tap my finger in a couple times and then dot where I want, you know, majority of my blush to be. And you can use a finger application and these blushes actually apply with a finger really, really well. But I'm gonna go in with the Sky Fluff brush. And I like to kind of swirl it up and in. So normally I would do some like blush draping. That's just my preferred like way of wearing blush, but
but I don't want to bring it too high because I want to use that highlighter. But this is my dream blush shade. <laughs> it's just a beautiful nude light blush. I'm actually going to add a little bit more just because I think it's so... I'm going to add a little bit more just so you can really see that. Like this is giving me like the cream version of Lancome Mocha Shimmer Havana, which is my like probably all time favorite blush in a powder form. Because other than that, my favorite blush now, aside from this, um, is Skin Spark or Phytosurgeon Skin Spark in Fume. But this is just a lot neuter like it's got like that brown kind of toast toasted that's what it is but that's this is what i look like i'm obsessed with this blush now for the highlighter i'm super excited for this highlighter i've been honestly like skipping highlighter a lot in just my like day to day and highlighter was the product that got me interested in makeup so this shade is pink amethyst and you can see it reflects silver and gold and pink it's just really interesting so I am going to do just like a finger swatch and I'll kind of swatch it next to that but it feels super velvety in the pan okay so it's really almost like an iridescent, like frost in a finger swatch. So I'm going to take this little brush and swirl in. Um, again, minimal fallout on these. These formulas seem really, really pretty. You know, I feel like with a powder, when you swirl in and you get a ton of fallout, there's nothing worse than that. There we go. Now we're cooking with gas. I was nervous about the shade. I was like, you know, it just didn't seem like it would be very like wearable, but I didn't just want to pick up, you know, a champagne. I think at this point we're inundated with champagnes and I think brands are really kind of trying to create shades that are interesting and this definitely is you know to be called pink amethyst and to look like this in the pan but then on you know it definitely is very glowy but it's also super wearable so i'm interested to see you know how frequently i reach for this in my collection but I'm really pleased with that. I think it's just really cool looking without being like a, you know, like alchemist unicorn highlight. The next product that I picked up, I've worn once and I got a ton of compliments when I wore it and I'm super excited. I saw it like on sale at Sephora and I just kind of knew I had to have it. It was one of those where it just like the shade called to me, but it is the Pat McGrath Bliss Trance in the shade skin sane 136 and now it's supposed to be like a shimmer but the bullet almost looks like a satin but then in the swatch it really does kind of kick up and this shade is actually kind of similar to the blush so I think it's going to work really well with this look but I'm going to pop this on and then we'll just kind of share I love the feel. Um, this is my first like Pat McGrath like lipstick. I have one of the like super metallic glosses and then I tried the fetish balms, but this is my first like lipstick. And I know why Pat McGrath is like the queen. Um, her shadows are incredible, but her lip formulas are really something special. This is a super like thin application 
and it definitely has some pigment but it's not like too powerful and it feels so light and lush on the lips I'm just really pleased with that and this shade is like right up my alley it's like a if I had to describe it it's like a nude berry almost like a nude sheer berry with some shimmer but I find that these kind of shades on me go like a true nude I don't know there's something about that like berry undertone that my lips just were like almost like take in and then they like they absorb it so it doesn't refract that brightly and I definitely think this is going to be like a new staple like I'm already imagining this like living right next to my um Gucci Jade Mar Margaret Jade so definitely worth it I'm not sure if it's still on sale at Sephora but if it is good stuff and I'm really kind of pleased with this look I know those wings are like not super even like at all actually wow I'm really like looking at that um <laughs> but it was fun you know I just wanted to kind of do something a little like just something a little different for a look that's like a lot more than I typically do um and I just wanted to really kind of play with some new products so the standouts to me are definitely the house labs cheek products um, I think the pigments are nice. Like this will definitely be fun to like play with. Um, I'm just not super great at eyeliner. It's something, it's a skill that I really want to like practice, but I also don't necessarily love the way that it looks on me. Um, but y'all know I love a cheek like this is giving me life right now. Um, so the house lab cheeks product, the house laboratories cheek products are like slaying my whole life. And then this phytosurgeon's blush in evaporate is like again this is my first time using it but i already know that like this is going to be like my blush and i am so excited to really like get to know these products and play with them a little bit more um you know i've been kind of like stockpiling like a couple new products and really like this is everything that I've purchased in the last like couple months I haven't bought a ton of new products so I'm super excited to play with them and in incorporate them into my beauty bags and just get to know the stuff that I'm loving so definitely um if you made it this far thank you so much I know this video was like a little rambly but I think it's good to just kind of play you know play with makeup and talk and share feelings you know I couldn't not talk about like the Glossier going to Sephora because that's like a huge that's like huge news in the beauty world and I don't think I like really knew how to feel about it and I still don't I'm just interested I'm interested to see what happens um and then with House Laboratories I love Lady Gaga I was just super excited to kind of see the brand like expand and do different things um and like I said, I think that the like Italian beauty collection that she did was kind of like a soft like beta testing of formulas that we're going to see from House Laboratories. And I think that's genius. I think that's a wonderful way to kind of do that. So I'm definitely following House Laboratories um, pretty like pretty closely because I'm excited to see what they do. I would love some like eye palettes from them. I would love some blushes. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm just excited to kind of see that. And then Salt New York, of course, is just so good. I love Salt New York. I feel like they're just doing the righteous work. I love what they do. I love their products. I love their ethos. I love their messaging. I just think they're really cool. So I know that the format of this video is a little bit atypical, um, but I just wanted to, I had the afternoon free, so I wanted to kind of break out some new products that I've been sitting on and put them on and chat and share feelings. Um, so I hope that you had fun watching this. I had fun making it. I hope that you're taking care of yourselves. I hope that you're showing yourself the same kindness and love that you show everybody else. And most importantly, I hope you remember that you're made of gold. Until next time.